Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you how I set up a target retrieval system using a child's bicycle. This bicycle is a 16 inch Schwinn child's bike that came with a coaster brake. And the most difficult part of this is converting the coaster brake to a fixed gear. The reason you need a fixed gear is so you can do this. You can go forward and you can go backward. Without converting it to a fixed gear, when you try to go backward, it'll just lock up and won't spin. I have included those instructions in a separate video and they'll be linked somewhere here. So get on that video if you can't figure out how to do that uh, to get that part set up. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you how I did mine and uh, hope it'll work out for you. Let's get started. Okay, I, I know that I want to make a change to how this thing is driven. I want to have the opportunity to drive it with it like an impact driver or a drill or a motor of sor some sort or drive it manually. And to do that, uh, I am opting to make a drive point on one pedal or the other. To do that, I'm going to have to cut it off. So to cut it off, I'm going to take out uh, the bottom bracket of this uh, little bicycle. These here are a righty Lucy. Take that off. And a washer. And. Okay, not very tight. This part right here is what's going to be pressed against the bearings. Okay, finally, there we go. So that seals the bearings to this side of the bottom bracket. I'll get my pair of pliers, just pick them up. See if I can put them on. They're going there like that. The bearing is close to the hub. Take it right out and bearings on that side and this is locked in as well so now I'm gonna decide which side I want to cut off I'm either gonna want to cut this off or cut that off and make my access point well, think about where, where my shooting bench is and where I will be accessing it from. This is the side that will be closest to me. So for ease of use, I want to engage this side. So in order to do that, we need to cut, again, cut this off. This here is a, a lefty Lucy. We take it off. Should be a wash. There we go. Take that off. There'll be a washer under it. Then the gear comes right off. Now we'll just get that cut off. Okay, there's what we got now. Got it cut off. Got it pretty flat. It's not perfect. It'll do. Now, the plan is just to like take a bolt head of size. I think this is a half inch. I think. This is small. Anyway, that doesn't matter. But to adhere a bolt head to this so we can just use a driver. This isn't the right size, but use a driver from our impact wrench or impact driver and run this thing. On to the rest of it. Okay, here's our final solution. Another one of my non-award winning <laughs> welds. But what I've done is I've welded a three-quarter inch nut 
on this. Now I know it's not gonna come off and we will just drive it with a three quarter inch driver socket. And to utilize everything we can on this little bicycle, I'm going to grind out the mount under the seat so I can utilize this system right here to mount it to our post. Like so. Ground off the bottom of the seat. This is the original mount. We're using it like that. Ready to start putting things up. So what I've done is I've got a large washer. I can't remember what size it is. I think it's an inch and a quarter opening there. Drilled a inch and an eighth hole through this old four by four. Put another, I'd put a couple washers so this threaded piece for the um, fork would tighten up or at least not be loose. It'll, it'll swivel a little bit. And uh, anyway, I just put the cap back on and that slotted washer just so I know where everything is if I want to use them later. So, ready to uh, go put this in the ground. Laying low. Here's how we got it set up. And it heads back up that way, 50 yards. And here's the paracord that I am using to drive everything. And here's our target sled. Disconnect the paracord. Oh. Sloppy knots. Make it, it attached to the top just to help guide it. Just straight bar aluminum with the angle aluminum riveted in the middle. And I've got that piece of aluminum I cut into. I'm just using it as the weight at the bottom. There's the slid. Here it is, mounted to the pole. We've got is a lag bolt coming through to hold this. Got that mounted with a couple small lag bolts. And the only thing I had to do, the seat tube was too long. I had to cut part of it off. And there we are. Just about ready for a maiden voyage. And that, I've got it set up that it is 53 yards away. So I can have an easy 50 yard shot with this thing. All right, ready for a maiden voyage. Hopefully won't run out of juice. I don't know how much I got left on this little impact driver. Okay, that's about oh, 30, 35 yards. This being driven directly as opposed to me stepping it off with a pulley. I had thought of running a pulley so it would step it down so it wouldn't be so strained, but um, it really is strained in driving it all like that. So maybe some changes, but it does work. We bring it back. Yeah, we're about out of juice. But that's why we got this.
There we go. So it works. And here's a little tip. The wheels come with a protective covering over the spoke nuts here. That's to keep it from tearing up your inner tube. I felt that mine would have enough traction without adding something to this. If you find that when you're trying to uh, bring your, you know, your target in and out, it's spinning, what you may need to do is put some, uh, uh, like, uh, butyl rubber or something, wrap around this, something you could uh, glue to it that would give it a little bit of bite to help things spin. But I didn't do anything, and I had abs I've had absolutely no trouble at all. Well, we got it finished, and I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. Every time I got started, there was something I didn't need. I uh, thought I had a bike, didn't have a bike. Anyway, got it all done. It pretty much is what I wanted. This isn't the color that I wanted, and I, I guess I could have painted it, but I'm I'm grown man. I don't have a problem with paint, but th this is not idea. Pink and purple, but it works. It's what was available. Uh, again, it's this particular one here set up uh, for 50 yards. You can go further, you can go shorter, just whatever room you have. But for me, for where I have to run it, because I, I do other shooting here, it would have been in the way if I did it any other way. So I'm really limited to that right there. But most of the shooting that we do isn't paper target here, it's plates. And this is so we can side in. Sometimes you just need paper. And I got people coming over Christmas and they'll be wanting to do this. So I got it done in time and I'm really stoked about that. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but one of the things that is the biggest trouble with this is converting the coaster brake to a fixed gear. You will need to do that so when you pedal forward or when it will go forward and backward. Uh, I'm linking a video shows how to do that in this video. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. It'll take care of all of that. Uh, there's lots of little things that could be changed on this and it probably will be, but this is again, as I went, as I just thought things might work, th that's how we did it, but it does work. The direct drive on the other side that I did, it's a little taxing on that uh, impact driver that I have. Um, it had been better if I'd have done a pulley cyst, additional pulley, like put a, a, a smaller pulley there and a larger pulley over here and then geared it to where it, it wasn't having to work so hard. Even so, this pedal, it, it's effortless. Spin it down and back, so no big deal. Uh, anyway, it, it it's worked out pretty good and I'm happy with it. And I welcome your comments. You see something I could have done differently or suggestions. That boy, I'm open for it. That's how we learn around here. Uh, but anyway, as usual, I appreciate y'all stopping by and good luck with your projects.